I started this fire about an hour and a half ago. It's, you know, cold up quite a bit. Uh, it's still obviously got fire going. Um, I also drove in a couple of Y-shaped branches that I had cut off of a uh, hedge tree, as we call it here. Uh, some of you may know it better as an Osage orange tree. Um, so yeah, I've got those and I cut down a small maple sapling. Um, I stripped all the bark off of it. I'm going to use that to skewer a three pound beef roast and I'm going to cook it over the fire. Stay tuned. So the roast has been on the spit for about three hours now. About an hour to an hour and a half ago I uh, wrapped it in bacon. And I just keep turning it. I'm about to take it off the fire and uh, cut into it. I'll uh, give you a look at what it looks like when I do that. Smoky. Good morning everyone. Uh, I apologize for not showing you how the beef roast turned out last night. Um, I honestly never took it off the spit and uh, cut it up. I just kept taking little bits off of it as I was hungry and uh, had some bread with me and some potatoes that I had cooked. And uh, I just, you know, slowly ate off of it. And then I uh, just left it on the spit all night long. While I was, uh, you know, the fire had died down, but it, it still had a little heat coming off of it. And definitely some smoke. So yeah, it just kind of kept her warm and smoked her all night long. I'm going to take it off the spit here pretty soon. Uh, I just stoked the fire back up because I'm going to uh, fix breakfast and some of this meat's going to go in that breakfast for sure. But this is how it turned out. And yeah, it was delicious. Yeah, you can see I couldn't resist but uh, take another, another little piece off of it when I woke up th this morning. Good, good stuff. <laughs> 